Joe Beal. Imagine seeing you here. How long has it been? Two? Three years since we bounced your sorry carcass off the force? Conrad. Detective Conrad now. So I hear. Was it daddy's money? Or are you just getting that much better at kissing ass? Good old Joe. Always a comedian. Always making jokes. Tell me the one about the shit bad cop that murders a lady and goes to jail for the rest of his pathetic life. I didn't kill the girl. We have your prince in the seat. On the murder weapon, we know you were there. She's quite a hot number, wasn't she, Joe? I have to say, you have quite the impeccable taste. I didn't kill the girl! Okay, Joe, I'll play ball. You tell me what happened from the beginning, Joey Boy. She was so beautiful. Is that why you killed her, Joey Boy? In this town, nothing that pure can last very long. So beautiful. It was another sleepless night. The dreams have come back again. Bad dreams. I don't know what I look for on those streets. Redemption? Salvation? Walking them always seemed to comfort me. But this night was different. As soon as I heard her, I've been acquainted with that kind of desperation before. He hit like a hammer. By the time I came to, she was a lost cause. I told her everything was gonna be okay, but she knew. Just my luck, the prettiest girl I've met, and she dies in my arms. Please. But it was what she said to me that sent my blood boiling. One word. This wasn't just some mug, this was different. See ya, doll. Nice meeting you, but I won't do as much good in the slammer. Not yet. Not until I have proof.
It wasn't much, but it was all I had. If I was going to find that girl's killer, I had to act fast. I always hated that picture. Thank you for using a fair point, Mason. Thank God. I was so worried. Where have you been? Do you have the briefcase? I don't know anything about a briefcase, but I sure have one hell of a headache, though. Uh, how did you get this number? Who is this? I'm just a friend of a dead girl, but I'm thinking you might have something to do with it. It's not safe for me to talk here. Not now. Look, so far this week I've been knocked around, shot at, now I'm wanted for murder. Not exactly what I call starting out the week well. I found this number on a girl, right after I saw her murdered. Now I want some answers. Meet me at the Good Shepherd parking garage tonight, 9 o'clock sharp. Probably a trap. But I was running out of options, fast. I didn't see that. Do you have the briefcase? Listen, buddy, I don't know anything about no crummy briefcase. By the way things are going for me, I don't want to. So they got there. Who's there? What's so special about this damn briefcase? The briefcase had everything in it. All the photos, all the files. Sarah knew how important it was. Important enough to die for? Yes. Sarah was an undercover reporter on the verge of a huge story. She was embedded deep into the police department. We were about to blow the whistle on a huge drug ring within the department. They must have caught wind of her, killed her. Crooked cops in this town? Who'd have thought? Now it's all lost. Without the briefcase, we got nothing! Something the girl said to me right before she died. Didn't make much sense to me. It's the cops! old boy. You know, if there was anything going down in the police department, I would be the first to know about it. I'm sure you would. Where's your proof? I don't know, but I'm sure that briefcase would have something interesting. It didn't make any sense to me at the time. Did you know what the girl said to me before she died? Oh yeah? What was that? Just a name, really. Conrad. Get ready for the hot place, Joy Boy. When you get there, say hello to the devil for me. 